Hey there everybody, Guitars N70 here coming to you from the new updated studio. Um, we're going to take a look today at uh, the Rover from the Mighty Led Zeppelin. I thought it would only be appropriate with uh, Mr. Page in the background there. So I'm just going to play the main parts of the song and point out some of the, you know, some things I think might be uh, of note here and um, help you enjoy it and help you get something out of it. So let's start with that intro. I slowed that down for you to and we just save a little bit of time uh, I think you're probably if you're trying to learn the song you're familiar with how it goes so um, so that's that uh, main riff it's fun to play and um, it goes right from from there to here so you go uh, Etc. Etc. So that little fill there goes looks like this. It's on the B and E string, okay? And then you're gonna hammer to the second fret B. Okay? Open with the B and E, and then down to the D string, 4-2. Down to an E power chord. Right? So that's kind of a noteworthy point out, I think, because he plays that on the second time through. That little variation sounds kind of cool. Uh, another thing is make sure you're getting those little um, quarter note. You know, it sounds better than just playing it straight. He's adding those little those little inflections on there, little quarter note ends or whatever. Um, let me talk about the tone real quick. Um, Hopefully you like it, but um, you know, basically I just I'm playing through the dirty channel on my my orange combo, um, and I have uh, the EVH phase ninety. Kind of got that phaser on there, which he has on the original recording. So that's first in the chain, then to the MXR GT overdrive into the dirty channel with the with the gain turned down on the dirty so mastered up and the gain turned down so um yeah getting a you know kind of a jimmy you can do this with any guitar too like um you know if you have, i don't think any many of you would be playing a down electro but maybe um but any telly has a good tone on this uh obviously les paul things like that so anyway so um then let's do the variation. So that's the first time through. And then when he goes through it the second time, he plays these triads. And the only thing I'm going to say here is listen to the record so that you can tell what you want to do. But I've seen people play it a couple different ways. I hear it a couple different ways. Um, but be you. Because Jimmy is always Jimmy. When he plays it, he, he does, you know, I've seen him scratch in between, do some things. He's just kind of chicken necking it. He's doing whatever you feel, right? But these are the kind of the notes. So he comes in. And that 
little walk down goes like this. You're just playing a, an E here. Back down here. And it's end it the same way. To this part. You're basically doing that on the, this uh, seven. Uh, seven to nine on the D and G string power uh, power chords. Actually, he plays triads all the way across. It's the D, G, and B. And if you want to catch this A in here, then maybe go up higher. Kind of adds a little bit more chunk, a little more balls to that part, you know? Um, I don't think it matters. And then, um, so he plays through that five times, and on the sixth time, he plays this little fill. So it'll go. And then he plays it two more times, and he comes into the solo, which goes like this. So the call out here, you know, you're, it's it's all it's all pentatonic, but you're starting on the same, you know, you're starting on the A string ninth fret. That's your rear reference. And the only things I would point out is that the timing is very loose in here. But this first one, it's it's not it's there's a little pause there on the G ninth fret G. And he plays the same thing down here, and it's on the second fret E string. Right? So. Slides up here. here to this F sharp pentatonic. So. Okay. Um, the only thing I would say here too, um, well, I said the only thing I would say before, but I'm going to say this other part. When he does this uh, That's fine, that's all in time. But the second time through, he goes. You gotta listen to the recording and get a timing that's comfortable for you because Paige is behind, to my ear, he is behind the beat right there. And it's kind of weird. It's It's got kind of this weird, um, you know, vibe to it. It's it's so cool because he resolves where he needs to resolve. He starts on time and he finishes on time, but he plays a little loose right in there with the with the timing. I'm not really sure. I've seen some people play it straight where they go. Well, they play the right notes, but. <laughs> but that's I don't think that's what's going on. I'm not hearing that. I'm hearing. And, and doing like that so you just be you you know play it what feels good to you because it's always going to sound better when you play it like you and in, in your feeling with 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 him in mind you know like you got the song in your head you're gonna it's gonna pour out of you okay so um that's really about it the rest of the ending uh you know i think the video is getting kind of long here the ending there's a couple of inflections he's messing around in the e pentatonic or whatever so you can do whatever down in there and um and it's going to sound fine again be you because he plays it different every time but um i hope you enjoyed this breakdown of the rover 
Um, I really love playing this song. I really love the Mighty Zep, and I love all of you for checking this video out. Video out. So take it easy.